Aia. That sucks. Now entering King's Row. What the hell's going on here? Hold on. I got invited back into the game. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Dude, don't, don't, it's my game. Ah, oh, cool, that also fucked up the soundboard. It completely, like, didn't save it. I can't go back to lobby, so it's pointless that I'm invited back to the same awful game that I have zero control over. Let's make a new one. Rip soundboard, yeah, I just have to, would completely have to redo the whole thing. Imagine if you could make someone else the owner? I'm a genius, don't suggest that. That is both valid and criticism. You piece of shit. Also, I don't... How long had I been streaming before my computer exploded? I don't even know. I think we started at three, like four hours. Big cool. Oh, you're not subbed. You had a cool name, but big cool bot guy. We're doing like a sub thing, like a, a whole cult gathering is what we're into. Haha, <laughs> epic, 320. Let's try and do that King's Row again. Billy. Ow. What up, cereal boy? Hey, Miss Pence. Today's stream has been weird. With the phone call interruption, the, the computer freezing, and everything else. Our world is worth fighting for. Don't try and AFK kick me. Oh yeah, I totally forgot okay. about this. The most important thing that I put on the soundboard.
Wow. 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 A listener's request. That way we can have stir reacts. Why did you jump in like that? Wow. Song displays and on. Uh, I'll do that after this. I'm, I was pretty sure I. It should. I'm pretty sure I opened the program that would do it. Thing, I put up that wall that we got flashbang through. Hey, just headshot the McCree twice. We're going back to educational. Wall in the Zarya. No, fuck it up. So just headshot the McCree twice? No, he's running. Okay, so wall in the Zarya? Alright, so headshot the McCree twice? <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna try and wall in the Zarya if she walks forward. Or I'm gonna try and headshot this McCree twice. No, they're not presenting themselves. Hey, Sir, Somber isn't played that much in comp. You won't see her every game because she is still a risky pick. Uh, I was watching someone stream this morning and Somber was in every single game. So, okay. Feels bad. The only person that was actually going to get frozen uh, got charged out of it. Also, shit, they have the Bree armor. <laughs> Diva bombs galore. Pisky Rick makes you think. I think it's a Pisky Rick. We're gonna, we're gonna back up so we don't die, but they're getting baited in here, so we're probably gonna end up walling this. And we didn't actually have to kill anyone because a Reinhardt swinging in there is better. You know, you know when you're going for a kill and you want to kill secure and you want to be the guy who gets the kill? Sometimes you gotta remember you have teammates and it's better for you to not overextend and die and let someone else do it. You know, it's a team game. Epic stuff. They're gonna totally forget that there's a May on this team and they're going to walk through and let me wall them off again without doing anything to counterplay it. And even the double classic, we did nothing to capitalize. So the plan is to headshot everyone, wait till Zen shoots. Alright, we can't wait long enough. Mm, not gonna happen. Do you think Ice Block reloading your gun is a good May buff? Uh, she already has less, uh, more ammo, so I don't think you need to buff anything ammo related a second time. However, yes, I do agree that that is a May buff. Also, sorry for having an opinion, hee hee, what? Oh. I didn't see what his opinion was. I read the chat late. It's off the screen.
あいいなうん。Dude, what's for dinner? Also, it's Saturday, isn't it? It's Friday! Holy shit, I thought it was Saturday. <laughs> My days are all off. Good heroes to pick to maximize your team Sombra. I don't think Sombra cares about team picks too much anymore. Like speaking of ranked, that uh, she kind of just slams and does her own thing now, and you don't you you don't gain extra health or you don't get her ultimate for using her health packs. But still playing a dive tank like Winston Diva is nice for playing off of the health kit anyway to make your healer's life less hell. guys gonna know what I'm doing um um stop me don't let her freeze me I have a bubble so I can swing heal bastion bastion good kill everyone kill everyone kill mercy <laughs> kill everyone okay good good job streamer we win. Back to lobby. And let's play uh, King of the Hill because we totally can't handle King's Row. How many viewers do you think you'd have to pull in on average for it to work as a quote job? Um, I mean, you could totally just add up for yourself how much money you think that you need to live off of for you to call something a job. And then figure out how many subscribers you would need to do that. Because the amount of viewers you have doesn't actually matter. It's the amount of uh, subs and contributors, I guess I'll say. And if you're going off the Twitch affiliate program, getting into streaming, then each sub would be like, you'd get half. And sub revenue generally mirrors bits revenue for a lot of people. They're usually actually pretty even, maybe like 10% variance. So whatever the sub count thing is, you could double and say maybe I'll get that many bits if I do this. If you're thinking about it as how to, where to, when will be job, then I guess the money part is the only thing that matters and those are the only things that generate the money. Is ad revenue still relevant on Twitch? Not really. Especially if you're starting off smaller, then that won't really come into play at all. I wouldn't count on it. And there really isn't anything I could tell you for accuracy of how many subs you will have per how many viewers you have kind of thing. I need to hit somebody. I don't... Because it kind of depends how much you tell people to give you money is how much money you'll get from those people. And how likable of a man you are that they'll actually do it. And if they take you, you begging for money as a meme or if they take you seriously. 
So if you're Moon Moon and people like think it's a joke when you say give me money and they think it's funny and they repeat it, then you're gonna make a killing. But if people like take you at face value and think that it's really like not classy to beg for money, then you might not get as much. So you really have to have the meme persona going and that'll help. the shield dash. Oh, dude, you went straight off. Bria holds her shield up and has Zarya bubble on her, which takes damage first. Uh, probably the same as Reinhardt, so Zarya bubble. I don't think in Reinhardt's case that both take damage, but I know no matter what Zarya's does, in fact, take it, so I'm gonna assume Zarya. I think the new hero is healthy for the game. I think any kind of change like this generally is healthy for the game, rather than having something like... Um, oh, Arissa saved him. Instead of having, like, broken mercy that existed for six months, I'll take a new hero over that, no matter what the hero is. As long as it's not six months before that hero gets changed if they're imbalanced. But Bree's pretty balanced, has a lot of weaknesses, adds good uh, anti-dive stuff, and dive has been popular for more than a year, so I'm down with it. What did I miss? Uh, you missed my stream crashing, or my whole computer crashing, rather. Did I knock Diva off? No, I didn't. Tracer! Sir hasn't had a power outage yet. Nope. I really think this building might have a generator or something. Or I don't know. It's just the power has never gone out on like the two years I've lived here for any storm. When people ultimately decide Bree is too bad or too good at the start, what overbearing patch do you think they'll add to her? <laughs> overbearing. Uh, dude, I don't know, man. I'm kind of, I'm not really even expecting much to change on her on the PTR besides like bug fixes. The worst problems with her are the broken shit that happens, how inconsistent her whip shot is when she's near shields, the fact that you can't block an earth shatter. You have like a 10% chance to actually block it. If you fix all that stuff, I think she's pretty solid. And definitely enough weaknesses that she can't be considered overpowered. Though maybe she'll end up in the symmetric. Ah, uh, no, there's no way. Her symmetric is totally good, but inconsistent. I don't even know where I'm getting fucking junk rat it from. Uh. 
Uh, she got uh, Harmony Orb, so we're not going to be able to kill her. So we kind of are just going to leave Mei alone for now. We can one-shot this uh, Zen, but we're totally dying. Uh, if we can get this armor on... No, you need it. I was going to maybe give it a Tracer so she could be super aggressive. Get our heal going with that. If he doesn't run away, we can kill him. Yeah, I'm... No, we're not gonna pop ult. It's pretty much lost now, with the tire killing everybody. Does the long range attack do more damage than a regular swing? I forget the damage numbers. It might be... 50 on the flail whip shot. Did the look of the shield charge change? Oh. It's bugged. On some maps, it's really blue. On some maps, it's not. He had nano boost, so I can't solo kill him. And he had harmony orb, so yeah. I got pretty close. Tried to do it best I could. 70 damage on whip. Okay, that's good to know. Oh shit, they have 80? I feel like we've been winning more than this, though I guess we never actually capped. And they do have Junkrat. So we're about to lose. Yup. <laughs> How did Junkrat not die? He must have had a million armor. No, they don't even have Bree. I have no idea then. That was kind of bullshit. And still it's not enough. Or it is enough. What the hell? Hope I'm not dropping frames again. They may as well add Rocket Cat. Why? The one. Let me patch that up. Hopefully we can have ult soon, then we'll win the next team fight. Because we're probably gonna have to fight twice. That's the play where for uh, when a rip tire is coming towards you rather than trying to block it last second you should uh, You should shield dash and that might throw the tire off more than actually like just standing there waiting for it You know like dash back and then put your shield back Oh my god fucking junk rat Anyone can do it I got pizza. Nice, man. Owie. Nice! That was a pretty good game, too. Like, 2-0, but close. Isn't Tyre immune to knockback? Uh, let me dumb this down for second graders. I said dash away from the tire and then turn around and put your shield up.
Yes, it is immune to knockback. And stun, and all of those Are things. Are you tired of peel, peel, peeling potatoes? Yeah. Toppy Scoon. Thank you. Dude, tier 3 even. Thank you, man. Baka Boy, 500 bits. Hey, there, Stir, what did I miss? Oh, yeah. I, I read that. Thanks, Toppies. Or Tops? I'm sorry. I'm putting the Y before. I'm not even good at this. Tier 3 sub, and I can't even say it. Topsy. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you could whip quick shot if you did it right, but at that point it's probably close enough to you that it's gonna blow up for you to hit in melee. I don't think I would do that unless the tire randomly came around a corner and but then even I don't know, it's super risky. Because if you miss the whip, then you also can't put your shield up because it takes a really long time for it to come back. So what I'm saying is tire is about to blow up in front of you. You do that like really quick and then turn back and then it's the closer the tire is to you, the the huger the margin for error is. Because it could be slightly to the left and hit you. Because you poke out the side of your shield so far. So if you know it's coming, I don't think the tire would often expect you to dash out of the way of it and then shield. I think she already used concussion. Damn, she's full health. I need to use shield dash for evasion more in general. I think it's... I underuse it. God damn. and just walked away. I want to see how much damage he took. Oh, damn, he almost actually died. It feels like someone booped him. Who could have even done that? Diva is like the only one. Maybe a Zarya bomb hit him at the exact right time. Hiya! CTF... I wonder if her shield charge makes her drop the flag. <sighs> nice shot by accident. Fuck. Yeah, that was way over everyone's head until I got popped up randomly. How does new May feel? I think the May changes are really good overall. The biggest thing about it is that you can freeze somebody, it'll stay slowed longer, and that'll make it easier to line up a headshot. So it's not the fact that you're trying to slow them, it's that you can quickly kill them. You don't even have to freeze them because they're slow enough to headshot consistently. I can't believe that rocket hit me. I even saw my shield pop up and it, like land it right on it. Oh, 
Oh, there actually is. A, here's a completely obscure change. If you plus, press the regular melee button, she uses her whip. Or her melee. Before, if you plus, pressed regular melee, nothing happened. Hard to say words. She turned. I'm just gonna back up and be a heal bot. And went over his head, no! Don't heal. He's healed anyway. And again, straight through my shield. I feel like it should be... I feel like it should be like Ryan where melee does nothing. Well, what's the difference? <laughs> I'm surprised you have a strong opinion about it. gonna block the meteor strike and then instant stun him so we can't do anything after it would it be weird or make sense to give Ryan a small nudge attached to his melee button to delay would-be attackers push oh like a shield little like boop like to push people back uh... I imagine any implementation that would be messier than it was worth. The tiny little movement boop, like, might... That'd be like a, a massive buff in the weirdest way. And if it's actually minimal enough that it's just kind of a nice nudge, then there's no point. Yeah, we got our healing up. Continuing to hit so we can keep it up. Put the armor on our healer because if she dies, we're fucked. But they have the character Junkrat, so they win. And we probably should never have pushed up top left with uh, without Junkrat, but I think I led the charge on that one. I wasn't really thinking. I can... No. I think it... Even if you catch Junkrat off... Off, uh... Then it's hard to kill him. Like, you could kill a McCree instantly. Reaper's fine, though. <laughs> it's just the melee splash. Oh, we ate it. Okay, I saw her purple and I thought I had a chance. She was low health, so I'm going after her. No, Moira healed her. Maybe we can kill Moira. Nope, she dashed. Perfect timing. No! I didn't think she had it yet, so I waited a second. I could have just killed her. Though maybe she would have phased back anyway. Damn. She even put her translocator, like, she threw it while she was there, so it couldn't have been too far.
You think her ult should activate her passive as well? Mm, why? Nah. You have armor. You're gonna get your melee swing in anyway. The only character that needs their ultimate to do 16 different things is Mercy. <laughs> and she didn't need it to do 16 different things. That's kind of the point. the hack keeping her busy someone's about to die see I'm alive everyone else died but I lived and normally we can't do anything about a rip tire Not you. It wasn't three people. So I don't know if it was because I was going for the others over me or we actually avoided it, but I don't know. We're alive. So I'll take it. I can probably kill Sombra here. No, she had armor because they ulted. I didn't think of that. I tried to block a Moira beam because I'm a dummy. Do you think a buff to Reaper, such as being able to cancel Wraith, would be enough to make him more viable? That would make him really good. C9! Dude, C9! Dude, C9! Um. Yeah, and Reaper's honestly, he's gonna be even shittier. Bree shuts him down like really really hard he's simultaneously in this weird spot all the time where he's supposed to be the tank killer but tanks kill him better than he kills them he loses to roadhog he loses to diva usually um uh, Bree's just gonna shield bash him and kill him because he has to get in close and if you have to get in close then he's stunned and you're you're just gonna collapse on reaper So maybe the shadow form thing is finally warranted enough. Though they had mentioned a long time ago they were looking at maybe reworking Reaper even after the uh, the life steal thing got added to him. Because that's not really... It's it, it was good. I don't know how good. Like, it, it hasn't been enough. His teleport ability might just need, like, a decent rework. Gotta go, thanks for games. Maybe we, uh... Yeah, I think we get new people anyway. We've been in here a while. Oh god, I thought my computer froze again. Like, uh, maybe 
maybe try something like an ethereal form too where he's not actually a complete gas cloud like he can actually still shoot during it and he takes like half damage or something like how roadhog has damage reduction and that would actually make him be able to compete with characters like roadhog who are the same character but better because roadhog is fucking impossible to kill uh, just with the damage reduction ignoring the fact that he heals himself during it so then you'd still be able to be aggressive it's like it's kind of weird reaper's whole shtick is that he teleports up somewhere drops down on unsuspecting people and then tries to kill them up until he's about to die and then he leaves right he has eight shots in his gun, <laughs> but usually you get off three of them before you're about to die and have to leave. The answer was equally as stupid as the question. I work God and go back have a good Friday. And then he's usually better played as like just walking behind the tanks. And not actually flank. Ah, he's just, he's been in a weird spot for a really long time. Or he's never been bad. He's just not quite been good. Except sometimes he is. I don't know. He's a mystery man. What you're saying is we should give him three shots. Well, you, uh, Roadhog only needs one to kill somebody. You know? You give him at least four because obviously he has two guns, you could totally up the damage on him. Because his spread and damage feels really inconsistent. You're already in my game. I need another man. Reaper needs better skins, that'll do it. Could you imagine? Imagine for a second the Reaper uh, origin skin, except his goatee is white. People are always suggesting, <laughs> like once a week, not even close to April, all year round. Wouldn't it be funny if Blizzard added this during April Fool's Day? That's the stir preferred April Fool's, is you make that one goatee white. Dude is old. He's pretty old. Oh, Reaper, what have they done to you? I is care of my someone to tuck you in. My ultimate is charged. Prepare to attack. Select your hero. Boy, if I'm just at work, gotta go back. Have a good Friday. I need more messages like that. Not telling me to have a good day. Wasn't equally as stupid as the question. Rocket cat for April Fools. Days. People who tell me that it's Friday. I, I wish I knew that earlier this morning. That changes things, man. Makes a lot of sense. Thanks again for even more bits, and the even more earlier. I hate Bree on this map. Stick to the plan. And if you get to I was kind of thinking of doing somber or something. But I'm going to persevere. I'm going to go on the jumpy pad and I'm going to land on people with my shield. Five, four, three, 
Overwatch could have custom sounds. What custom sounds would you use? I just want hit sounds, man. Hit sounds and damage numbers. Heal up. Ooh, I saved him. That arrow is Winston's death. We're gonna go kill this guy. Okay, he stunned me after my shield bash. Wait, no, my shield bash isn't even on cooldown. Huh, I don't know. Oh, I needed that hit. He totally would've went in the street. I went in the street. I was so greedy for it. I wanted to boop someone in there so bad. Though D.Va was even greedier. Actually, I'm trying to- thinking back to that, so I- I did get stunned from the Doomfist punch. Dude, he came back. I did get stunned, but I didn't get punched into a wall. I didn't move at all. Really wish Overwatch had damage numbers. It's the most bizarre thing that they haven't added it because they want the game to be casual and easily to understand. And there's so many questions that everyone always has, like, oh, how much damage does this do? Well, especially now that there's a new hero out, no one knows. Just imagine being a new player, not knowing how much damage a single ability does, you know? Like, why not? Turning on a few models, they're never going to do that. <laughs> that I know they'll never do. But uh, adding more information, making the game easier to learn, I don't get why they don't. Though, though to go back on that, on that note, th this is the same team that didn't want to add um, a kill cam, not kill cam, um, kill feed. I can't even believe that that was a real thing. That was like a conscious decision too. Because during the beta, they, or, or earlier before launch, they had a working kill feed that they just decided not to put in the game. Diablo 3 doesn't show skill damage numbers by default. I know, and I hate that, but at least you can go and turn on advanced skill options. Because usually they like hiding information from players, but also making it available if you want to turn it on. Kind of like if you got advanced, advanced skill tips, so you could turn this on when a new hero comes out and go, okay, whip shot to 70. Rocket Flail does, uh, 35, okay. You originally thought 70 field of view was good? Yeah, that, that is, yep. Yep. And for the whole conversation we had earlier about how, I don't think console has affected the game at all, dude. 70 field of view was a console decision. There. Oh, I healed nobody. Range 
Playing Source games on 90 makes me want to throw up now. Really? Too much higher than 90, it still gets a little bit... It's like overkill to me. It's a little bit weird. Oh wow, you got scattered. game. Leave her! So I'll stop playing and invite somebody. Who wants in? find it problematic the flail covers most of the right side of the screen i mean it doesn't bother me even through all of tf2 i preferred view models on uh where you could you know definitely turn it off in any source game but i understand why you would want that while simultaneously understanding blizzard will never do it He shot it at the stairs for some reason. Why are you not using the armor ability off cooldown? Her armor giving ability only lasts for 5 seconds, so that armor isn't permanent, and you want to save that ability cooldown for a big epic moment. Got him. Even with Nano, because he's already a little hurt. Ow. What? <laughs> Dude, that was a crazy pull. Wow, she was so unstoppable. kill more than one person okay one of them was a roadhog so it counts uh, I think their team might be a bit better now I kind of want to risk it and go to like a payload map but also How do I practice whip shots? You just keep doing them. Prepare for battle. Select your hero. bothered me only when the game was new and the field of view is much lower and and specific guns like Winston's was kind of huge and Zarya's has always been kind of huge and glowy I think they toned down the glow on Zarya's gun at some point but without view models is super it throws me off a lot like the whole rhythm of my character is doing this thing I, I rely on that a bit.
I could have stunned him earlier. <laughs> I was waiting for them to drop down that whole time. He, we probably could have had their flag though because we won the initial team fight. We just waited for so long. Maybe now? I'm gonna kill Junkrat. He did. What would you think of Reaper just being able to Wraith while stunned? That would be pretty cool. I'd be okay with that. It works every time we've done it so far. I shouldn't have done that because, uh, what the fuck? Did he reflect that? Oh no, that's over here. What? I think we're winning. Oh, I'm going in! You want some of this? Uh, it was not even close. Let's mix uh let's make the teams up a little bit. Oh, did I get the potka? You have to watch the Bree potka. I was also like it, it it confused me a little bit. I didn't look like I stunned the uh the Bastion initially when he came out. I was worried that I didn't. I kind of freaked. Also, I didn't do anything in that play. And we had all seen it already. Streamer basks in ego. I'm just gonna do a minor switch and see... so much easier. Make sure Overwatch always looks the same to viewers. Yeah, that's a huge part of it, is they don't want their game to look bad. Um, wherever, if everyone could, they would run, like, there were even people that made a couple of them that were super disallowed and banned of, like, they removed all of the textures from Overwatch, they removed all of the clutter, it looked like just, you know, pure base colors on everything. And they don't want people to go and see the game misrepresented in that way and, like, look like shit because they've spent so much time on the art. Which is the same reason why, you know, a map like Lunar Colony, they spent so much time on it, they're not just gonna remove it, they're gonna make you play it. Triple support. I'm just gonna play like a madman then. Or I could do Sombra. Or May. Nah, I just wanna see what triple support looks like with this. I think this might be reasonable, as long as I play more aggressive.
dude, even with all this healing. Oh, whoops. You're dead. I'm going, I'm going for the, I'm a flanker. I know we're all dead already. Fucking, <laughs> we nerfed Junkrat. We thought one shot kills an Overwatch were bad. That's why we're removing Scatter Arrow and making sure Junkrat keeps his. I'm gonna, dude, you know what? Fuck the ult. Oh no, did we switch up? Oh no, we still have that, that many healers. I'm gonna show this guy what it means to be a man. Wow, I'm, I'm still, I'm so used to playing her that I'm trying to use like her abilities. I really tried to heal that guy. Okay, I'm on Doomfist. I'm on Doomfist. Let's go. Enough. I didn't I thought you could do it from down there, but you don't go high enough. Space created. I mean we did live for a really long time there. There was a couple of kills we should have been able to get. Like Z uh, Zarya we probably should have gotten. We I don't know, my Doomfist is feeling rusty from all the only Brie I've played, and I'm aiming my shotguns weird. My ultimate is charging. Yeah, I'm aiming my shotguns weird. This is really all I'm, I'm doing. This McCree should have died too. I'm kind of just like doing it as if I have the flail. Like I'm gonna hit, hit no matter what. Isn't uh yeah Doomfist uh, reload is officially updated as well. It reloads faster. Dude, yeah, this is pretty terrible. It's just... Just don't know how to aim anymore. However, we secured the win. Apparently not having triple healer is pretty good. You can make any multiplayer game that struggles with player numbers popular, what game would you do? Good question. Also, I was really sad here that I, like, look at me doing that. I'm not aiming at all. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Strike Vector would be high on the list. 
Soul Calibur is a decent option too, yay. Titanfall would be good as well. I wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't be high on my list, but I, I would like to play that game more, and it is really, like, just dead most of the time. It's unfortunate what happened in that game, because it was a really good game. I think Strike Vector would have to be... Like, I'm sure it would get developed more if it actually had the player numbers, but I went back and played it when the Enhanced Edition came out and it was garbage. It was like a lot worse than I remembered it, though I think the Enhanced Edition actually made it worse. Um, I don't know. I just want to do another one. I like this map, and I don't know who to switch. do more Doomfist, but I also don't want to slam everyone. <laughs> so he picks Sombra. I'm totally gonna slam on Sombra. You, how can you not slam on new Sombra? Nazgoth was so good. It, it was pretty good. Just alright. Gotham City Imposters was a pretty good game too. It's kind of outdated. Like, it didn't age super well, and there's probably, you know, better options than that. Imposters had a lot of its own problems, too, with flying fat boys. And rocket launchers, and, I don't know, just weird shit that was in that game. Thank you. that didn't go up top. Did Sombra's throw get, like, shorter? Oh, how did he get- oh, he's up top. anything that fight I didn't know how to get in and we don't I don't know I don't know I wasted a lot of my cooldowns I think and I just made really bad decisions I really need to save my hack for players Bad. Okay, 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 here's the comeback. Are you ready for the comeback? I thought I was about to get headshot by him. Pressing E, it's on cooldown! Classic Sombra. I feel I say that after every Sombra death. Enemy flag returned. No manches. Switching. I'm not feeling it. That's kind of awkward in CTF. I want to punch more people. 
You would have dropped the flag anyway, though, right? I didn't want it. I didn't even want to pick up the flag. It was irrelevant. But yes, I would. I was gonna jump and try and go around and I remembered you can't do that and I had no cooldowns and I suck! Also, yeah, I remember actually why in that moment Doomfist totally blows on that side of the map. I think we lose. I think if I played Doomfist from the beginning, though, we wouldn't be in this hole. And if we do actually recover this, I believe... Winnable. 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 I'm gonna kill Soldier up top. I'm gonna try not to use our punch. Oh, we dropped it? Oh my god, will you die? <laughs> I thought that ground pound was gonna kill him. I thought so many things were gonna kill him. Charged? Oh. Yeah. You never watched Stir, the legendary CTF streamer? Ninety-nine percent no ammo. I believed. Play of the game. Button to drop the flag without using an ability? I don't think so. Feels bad. I want a rematch. And I'm gonna doomfist my heart out, and I'm gonna get instantly killed by Junkrat, and I'm gonna get shield bashed, but I will persevere. This is the place to go if you wanna see see boobs. Welcome to Ayatoya. Ayatoya, it's. Definitely is the place. It's the streamer Doomfist is in the title. I'm gonna go get diner. Nice. Please don't end. I might end. Maybe I end. Eat dinner. Have a nice night, a nice enjoyable evening, relax, come back, and play into the breach. Only through conflict do we evolve. Though I've noticed this weird thing with the stir stream. 
Like, even when I was playing Hearthstone, for some reason... I guess it's because early morning, like, fucking who streams the morning? But if I stream, like, any weird off-game, like Hearthstone or Into the Breach in the morning, there's always more boys. I think it'd be cool if I could wake up consistently really early, have an early goofball game stream, and then break and then come back at the regular time at, like, a 3 p.m. dreams come true. What? My mouse doesn't work. And I was elim- how was I eliminated? Oh god, am I dropping frames? The fuck just happened? My, like out of nowhere it came back my entire game like disconnected like I was standing in sp in place I couldn't use my mouse to look left or right or shoot or anything but I could still move and invisible characters killed me oh I guess E doesn't do anything when you're uh, looking at the ground Get a new PC. Hey, dude, your internet went out? Get a new PC. I've been getting that bug loading into maps. The bug where your... Where your internet goes out? You should get a new PC, dude. what I need. <laughs> Your dog died? Sucks me. Get a new PC. My dog is fine. People were saying that shit earlier too. My my computer freezed. Get a new is, is, is your PC old? My PC it just sucks. It's still relatively new. Oh, no, it's happening again. Locked in place. Revived. I think it's time to call it quits. All right, everybody. Thank you for coming. Welcome to Ayutthaya. Feels bad. Two months of shit. I'm gonna come back and be a consistent streamer. Woo! Uh, every stream, it I'm ending because of like internet problems. That's how it goes. See you around, guys. I love you. Tank the tank. Skikikikis. Yami Ganti. I love them.
Oh, actually, that reminds me. Stranger! The problem with me- here's- here's the dilemma in my life. The problem with me doing morning streams is that every Saturday, I have agreed to play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends, and I'm a reliable, committed gamer, and I show up every time, but it goes until like 2 or 3 in the morning, and then on Sunday, I'm never going to wake up early, except on some Sundays, I do decide to wake up at 6 a.m. anyway, because there's ping pong that my friends go to at 6 a.m., so that usually means that I get two to three hours of sleep every single Sunday. And then how am I supposed to be a consistent person? D&D is so good our sessions go like that. No, we just, we play way too late at night. We start at... 11.30 my time, so if we play for two hours, it's, you know, 1.30 a.m. Usually it goes a little bit over, so it'll be at least 2 a.m. And... That's hella inconvenient for me, man. <laughs> so I gotta figure that out, because I really would like to start, like, uh... Like a 7 a.m., 8 a.m. kind of indie game variety or whatever. I feel like playing consistent streams. Oh, there goes my internet again. 